I'm Elena. And I'm Allie. And welcome, welcome to, to our Wise Blog. On this episode, we are going to talk about your travel to and from George Mason University. So again, we have a series of questions, and I'll start by asking Elena the first question. Will somebody be at the airport when I land? Yes. Our Y staff will be at the baggage claim at the two airports, Reagan National or Washington Dulles. You should look for them wearing our Y t-shirts. Allie, is transportation available from the airports to George Mason University and back? Yes, we will absolutely have shuttles going from Reagan National Airport and Dulles International Airport. The shuttles will run between noon and 4 p.m. on arrival day, so be sure to book your flight before 4 p.m. if you want to take our university shuttles. In addition, on departure day, if you book your flight after 2 p.m., we will have a shuttle that will depart campus around 11 a.m. and take you back to either Dulles International or Reagan National Airports. If for any reason you cannot get a flight before 4 p.m. or after 2 p.m. on arrival and departure day, Please let us know by entering it into your student portal or giving us a call at our office. Um, and you will need to provide your own transportation to and from campus if that's the case. Okay, next question. Is there someone that I can contact to make sure my student arrives to Mason safely? Absolutely. We encourage students to contact their families as soon as they land. You can also reach our staff by calling the emergency cell phone number on your magnet in your welcome packet. I'm coming by car. Where do I go? If you're being dropped off by a family member or you're driving yourself to campus, you'll want to go to the Rappahannock River parking deck. Um, you can find that by just Googling it, or we also provide the information on how to get there in your welcome packet. Um, drop off begins at 12 p.m. And please be mindful that if you do drive yourself, we will be collecting your keys upon arrival and we will give them back to you upon departure. We need to know if you're arriving by yourself um, so that we can give you a parking pass. You'll be able to park for free in the Rappahannock River parking deck on campus. There will be staff there, there'll be signs all over campus to help guide you there. And again, in your welcome packet, you have the campus map which should help guide you. Okay, next question. How do I find out if other students are coming from my area? That's a great question. We encourage you to connect with other students using the student portal in the chatter function. You can also connect on other forms of social media. What time does the programming start on arrival day? Will I miss anything if my flight arrives after 4 p.m.? Great. While we do allow students to come on campus starting at noon, we don't have any official scheduled um, speakers or any programming until 6 p.m. when dinner starts. We have optional activities that you can do during the afternoon while you're on campus, such as a campus tour, getting to know your faculty advisor and other uh, students in your color group. Uh, but we will not have any official programming starting until 6 p.m., so you'll have plenty of time to get to campus and get settled before we start the program. And our final question. What if my flight is delayed until after 4 p.m.? It's okay if your flight gets delayed. You'll just want to let us know. You can call the emergency cell phone number and let us know what time your new flight will arrive. We will arrange for transportation to pick you up from the airport to get you to campus safely. Thank you so much for listening to our vlog today. We hope we gave you a lot of great information about travel, and we can't wait to welcome you on campus when you arrive for WISE.